So a hospital will typically ring up one of our coordinators, who's also a volunteer, saying uh, we have a patient that needs X amount of blood, uh, can you get it here? And uh, our charter is that we'll get it there within the hour. So we'll go to Vincent Drive, pick up the blood, take it to whichever hospital it is. Uh, we also pick up uh, platelets, uh, blood cells, uh, and, uh, in, in between hospitals, uh, and also blood samples. It, it's, it's always comforting to know that someone's waiting for that blood. We're not there just to stock up a, a hospital of blood. Uh, the blood transfusion service can do that. Uh, we're there because that hospital needs that blood at that time. Um, or, if they've got blood that they don't need, it can go back to the blood bank for somebody else. So very often we're also picking up blood uh, that isn't required. We also service the air ambulance at Cosford. So we pick up the blood here from Queen Elizabeth, we take it to Cosford. Uh, that's on the helicopter for uh, two to three days. If it's not used, we pick it up and we bring it back to the hospital where it's still used, it's never thrown away. It's costing about probably 70, 80,000 pounds a year uh, to run the operation. Each of these bikes, by the time they're equipped with cameras and GPS and, and sign written, uh, you're probably close to 20,000 pounds. You've got to insure them. We go through tires like nobody's business. Uh, fuel now, horrendously priced, so probably about 40 pounds to fill a tank up. Um, and we're on the road all the time. So it's a struggle. Um, and um, we've probably saved the NHS about a million pounds a year. Like a lot of people who volunteer, they like to put something back into the system. You know, the NHS is struggling, always has struggled, probably will always struggle. And every time we make a, a collection or a delivery, it's just nice to think you've saved them some money. Uh, I think there is a, a very close fraternity with biking. And biking and our bikers will go right across the range, from a managing director of a company, literally to a bricklayer, a mechanic. Uh, there's, there's no social class at all. Uh, if, if, if you want to ride a motorbike and you're prepared to take the advanced test so that you can show that your skills on the road, then this is open to anybody. I'd encourage anybody to do it. And very often we come across people that stop us and thank us because, you know, a, a relative of theirs was involved in a car accident or, or, or an operation and they know it was the blood bikes that actually got the blood for them. And, uh, and that's lovely to hear, it's always a great story. And sometimes you could be in the coffee queue and somebody will come up and say, I'll buy you coffee, mate. Uh, you know, uh, you help my father or uncle or child. The least I can do is get you a coffee. And that's great, isn't it? You know, for the price of a cup of coffee, it makes you feel really good.